I want to be 185. You know, like I'm always asking like, well, have you tried to cut weight before? Is this something you've done? A lot of people are very inexperienced with this stuff. Um, uh, what, what would you say uh, to that? Do you have any advice for people in that regard or talk about that? Higher out. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. That is number one. Oh my gosh. I, um, I hired out myself. Um, I did 22 weeks of a sustainable weight cut, right? Of, I wanted to compete in August and I knew at the start of the year, I had August in Toronto lined up. This is when I want to compete. I weigh 235 pounds now. I want to get to competing at the 195 category and you think well ahead of time. Do not think oh, I need to cut weight in six weeks. We see it all the time in combat sports. It's cool to see people drop 20, 30 pounds, even in, in a month using aggressive weight cutting strategies. But I've been very grateful in my career to have mentors that are in the combat game, working with, UFC fighters and professionals and the way that they go through these drastic weight cuts through, you know, literature or not evidence-based practice, it takes a lot and it's a lot more detailed than we can imagine than just water cutting and salt cutting. There's so much when you see those fast cuts, it's not people, everyone thinks they can do it. It's not the case. They have a full performance team behind them. Yeah. And it is very detailed. <laughs> so when we are thinking of cutting weight, you always, again, people go through the ringer with regards to their nutrition and they try all sorts of things. And again, this is also the reason why jujitsu can get so overwhelming because we try all the things. So with nutrition, again, finding a really good professional that is that can help and that understands the combat game is the best investment that you can make because when I set out my nutritional goals and I hired out and I had a the the assistance the guidance the mentorship as extensive as my education on, on nutrition is I'm a precision nutrition certified coach um, still it was help having someone to guide me through that process regardless because I didn't want to think about it. And I wanted to make sure that if I'm just following through with this plan mindlessly, just following through, I'm reading the scale, the scale continues to, you know, trend downwards, not always go down. That's another thing that throws us off course is that we're just want to make sure that when it comes to cutting, and I'm, I'm sure that you know this as well, you've probably experienced this, you cut too much weight or you cut weight too fast, your mental game, deteriorates physically you feel slow you feel lethargic um, a lot of us do not uh, compete and it's not our full time we have a job we have a family and that starts to affect that and so when we go through nutrition and we try to do it on our own it's just too much stress it's too much to add on the plate so always finding someone or finding reputable resources to help you through that nutrition because Again, it happens far too often where we cut this weight and we're like, oh my gosh, I competed, but I was exhausted. I couldn't think straight. My, that month was horrible. I felt the worst. I couldn't like perform. It's because a lot of times, yeah, we go through these low carb diets because we think, oh yeah, I just going to cut carbs. Well, yes, when you do cut carbs, a lot of the weight that you lose initially in that first week to 10 days is water weight. For every gram of carbohydrates, it's about four grams of water being carried with it. So you're losing water. And a lot. And you'll know this if you cook, if you take out dry rice, and then you add water to the rice and cook it, the volume is significantly greater, right? You can think of the same with regards to glycogen in your muscles and your liver. When we lose that, we lose water. When we lose water, we also lose electrolytes. So now the number one energy system that we need to perform in jujitsu is the glycolytic system to recover that requires carbohydrates. And if we're not uh, keto adapted, it's still not, it's still not superior to a higher carb diet. Um, we're going to set ourselves back, but we're thinking, Oh, we're losing weight. It's not the case. Right. So um, again, it can become a really dangerous game too, physiologically as well for a lot of people that cut weight too soon uh, or cut too much too fast that can have some physiological implications as well. 
uh, that are not necessarily worth the risk for uh, just the tournament, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's 